Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome to another Road Warrior video blog. I just realized looking at the date today, and I had something else completely planned for this, I realized today is October 4th, or 10-4. At least that's the day I'm posting this. So it always goes back it will have been released on 10-4. And that got me to thinking about CB radios. I guess how the phrase 10-4 really came into our being during the CB radio craze. And what's funny is, is I remember being marveled with the technology of CB radio. Sure, I mean, I was working in radio at the time and had you know, been around radio and television my entire life, and while well, that was interesting stuff, the fact that you could have a little radio and a little antenna and talk between car and car, just a normal person in the 70s, I mean, just blew me away. It was was impressive and exciting, and I'll be honest with you, I mean, I got tired of the CB radio pretty quick. I think I finally put a CB radio in my car probably in the late 70s. I had the Volkswagen when I first started out. That was my first car starting back to about 77, 78. And I finally switched over to a Camaro in like 79, 80. And I remember having a CB radio in my car in college. Long story, I think, why I put it in at the time, I can't even really remember, but I'm sure it has to do with blowing up an engine in the middle of Tennessee on a road trip to see a girlfriend in my Volkswagen and just having to, a way to be able to reach out to people. You know, it's funny, we take for granted now with, with the cell phone that it's no problem to reach out to people now. They're easy to get a hold of. And the technology of the cell phone is amazing among itself. But I think when you just think of the technology, just look, look what we're doing here alone. We have the HD video camera. Now, I've had a bunch of video cameras over the years, you know, all sorts of different kind of digital video cameras. And I remember the tape cameras and, and the mini DVD cameras and all those kind of things. And they never really would work for something like this. I mean, we could have tried it but it would have never really worked like this works. Now we've got, well, now we've, that we've upgraded to the, you know, the GoPro, we've got a camera that I'm working through my iPad. That's how I'm controlling it, through the little iPad sitting in my, my passenger seat. I just turn it on, turn it off, and then just kind of talk into the camera. The camera's attached to the suction mount on the windshield. I've got a microphone. Now, I do have a wired microphone because I like a little bit better sound out of it. I think you like a little bit better sound out of it. And I'm sure I could find a wireless microphone to hook up to this, but I just don't think I'd get the same kind of quality, especially with any radio frequencies. And then we've got the GPS, we've got the iPhone. Now, I realize we're talking 40 years from the time that the CB radio was king in the mid-70s to now. But it's still pretty amazing and pretty impressive how not only the technology has come in 40 years. I mean, if you look at from the time just television really took hold in the late 40s, early 50s to now, that's amazing. But to be able to shoot television shows from footage culminated in a car where you don't need big, huge camera trucks anymore, to have this little camera that fits in the palm of your hand and to be able to do what we're doing today, it blows me away. The technology, which I've always been excited about and always thrilled about and always interested in, is just amazing. And here we are, again, and I think that's why I do the Road Warrior video blog. It's amusing to think I can shoot a video while driving a car, again, not have to worry about paying attention to the camera, just turning it on, letting it go. I do come in and, like I said, you know, clean it up a little bit, edit the in point and the out point a little bit in case I stumble through it. But really, there are no edits, as you can see. The entire blog is always steady. And, you know, when I go out and cut four or five in a day, it's very rare where I have to do any retakes. I may cough in one or, you know, you'll just see the sun come and go as we're driving through, you know, on the Nashville highways and things like that. Again, it depends on the time of day. They're always preferable on cloudy days, but then you don't get as much light and, and does it really matter? Again, it's more the experience of just the novelty of driving down the road with you, knowing that you can watch me as I'm doing my thing. You can watch out, you can see what's happening in the windows. You can see me either passing people, being passed by people, all the impatience of life we go through. And to me, like I said, it's, it's almost, I said this before uh, a few months ago, it's almost like a time capsule to me. It's kind of cool that it is, as these, I hope, go on and continue on, that we'll be able to maintain these as a time capsule, a time capsule, if you will. See, I could have edited there, but I'm not going to. Um, to what life was like. I've often thought about doing another version where I stick up a camera and just have it going outward to watch what's going on around us and just saving those, not putting them on the internet now, but I think, because who knows what the internet's going to be like in 20 years from now, but it would be interesting to see in 20 years, because I'm always fascinated by watching old video footage that when people shot from video cameras or film cameras or whatever and changed it back in the 70s and 80s, to just looking at the way life around us was, whether it's a store, a gas station, signs, whatever it is, 
it's fascinating to me. That's why I keep my, my neon sign and my sign project going that I'm really getting into as a hobby. Um, it's a cheap hobby, it's a fun hobby, I can travel a little bit, but more importantly just see a little bit more of the world we live in and be amazed at you know, how far we've come. I don't know, it's, it, it excites me. That you watching this video excites me even more. Another Road Warrior video blog. We'll do it again next week. Um, I'll go back to the original topic. So next week when you watch on 1011 or whenever you watch, you'll know that the one before was actually scheduled for then. And, well, I didn't do it that way. Does that make any sense to you? This was a special edition just off the top of my head. There you go. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us next week. Of course, on iTunes. Or not iTunes. Oh, we could put it on iTunes. No, I'm not going to. Another Road Warrior video blog on YouTube. That's what I was wanting to say. Uh, and my Kevin Mason Music username. So you can check it out. We'd love to see you again next week with another Road Warrior video blog.